Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. I don't see how that's a party. Welcome to the Lap Book Podcast. This is episode 42 for the 6th of September 2016. Tonight's episode is brought to you by the Crimson Moon at www.crimson-moon.co.uk. Don't worry, I'll get that link up somewhere so everyone can actually get to it rather than my ramblings. Now, they provide that extra bit of period experience, whether for medieval, Viking, English Civil War reenactment, live action fantasy roleplay. That's what we like to do. <laughs> Weddings, birthdays, all that different charity function. The best meads, and I do mean the best. Over 32 country wines and the finest real ale. That's over at crimson-moon.co.uk. Right, in tonight's show, we have got Hemi Lou in the house! <laughs> We've got self-care. That'll all become self-explanatory when we start talking about it. Uh, and we've got Balrog. Not the actual Balrog. That wouldn't fit in my room. So, let's let's go on from here. Ba, 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 ba. So, Emilu, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. It's good to have you back on again. I'm getting back and waving. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Robert and I uh, attended the um, event, the Curious Pastime event. You uh, did? So let me, let yeah. me just uh, do what I should have done a little while ago. And... I saw you there and everything. I, mean, I know. <laughs> you had to yeah. wandering around. And stuff. I talked to you. <laughs> just, just put my phone onto airplane mode. It never turns into an airplane. It's not a transformer. Never understood um, that. So disappointing. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, someone's bound to call me as I'm doing the show it always happens mm. uh, and we had a fantastically wonderful time yeah thank Yay, you that's really good um yeah, everybody you. that we met all of the people all of the staff all the volunteers uh everything were incredibly nice to us um and half of them didn't even know who we were uh, which which was good that they were incredibly nice to us uh, you know uh, it, you know etc they were informative. They helped us out where we needed help. They let us kind of do our thing when we wanted to do our thing. Uh, so fair play, uh, hats off, kudos, and all the rest of it to you and Yay. your team. Uh, it, it was fantastic. Now, how how do you feel that event went? Um, well, I normally come back from an event and I, I, I feel that it's gone well. But I don't normally come home from an event and feel amazing. But I came back from this event and felt amazing. And I think it's the best event that we've run as long as I can remember. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Like that, Which is yeah. kind of really fitting for the fact that it was the 21st birthday and 20 years. And I don't know, it was just a big confluence of amazing things all at the same time. And it was really, really I, I don't know. I'm still on a bit of a come down from it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> two weeks later or something. Yeah, so, no, no. It eventually yeah. come down. But I can understand that. It was just there's a really special vibe going on the whole weekend. Yeah. yeah. Was, we weren't there the whole weekend, but yeah. while we were there, it just felt a bit special. I don't know if you've seen the photographs on Facebook of the Thursday night party, but it started with this amazing out of character party with a cake and balloons and a lip sync mm. battle. <laughs> it was just <laughs> set the scene for this then absolutely amazing event as well so yeah it was it was epic yeah no i mean i mean fair play i mean the the one of the things i i kind of want to chat to you about tonight mm -hmm. is the is the organizational side yeah. of things mm -hmm. like even even when we, we we turned up um okay the the entrance to the site was not the easiest thing in the world to find Right, yeah, but that's that's, that's only because mm -hmm. I'm following sat nav, right? Yeah. Sat, you know. <laughs> but yeah. and to be fair, your sat nav did go. We're here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <"Mom>, <laughs> <before> <laughs> the side entrance. It was like, <laughs> are we, Rob? Let's let's just drive up that way, and then we got to some houses, and then more houses. No, it can't be this way. Let's drive the other way down that same road, and then we came across, you know, the 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 the, the, the scout camp. 
Yeah. So no, that's really good feedback and a really good point. And maybe yeah. it would be good for us to have a sign outside the front. Yeah, or um, or you know, perhaps perhaps give long, longitude and latitude. <laughs> yeah, 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 we could do that instead. Yeah, yeah I, mean, of, I, of think the also, I think. I mean, one bit of feedback there might be, you don't see as you approach Packer, you actually. Or any scout camp, you don't actually see what you're saying no. right on top of it. So that's true. Yeah. So every scout that camp is every, yeah. every, <laughs> I, every I scout camp. But, I mean, uh, but I suppose I mean, we found it okay. Yeah. 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 Just, uh, just odd the sat nav didn't. But I'm just wondering, it says more yeah. people like that. I mean, oh, but only says more. Perhaps get one of those brown signs somewhere and just. Yeah, no, no, it's, that's a really, really good point. Really, yeah, really, be, good, really good feedback. Because uh, if I remember rightly, Rob Botany Bay, Botany Bay has Botany got. Bay. Uh, has, has got one of those brown signs, hasn't it? Um, they've got, yeah, that's, a, that's right. They've got one and just before the main turn off to it. So I don't know if you know Botany, but I've heard of it. It's a scout camp yeah. near Kinton in South Wales. Mm. Okay. Now, um, the, to be honest with you, they, they've probably had a bit of cash to do that because they've actually had the council put up those brown signs, you know, this way yeah. to Botany Bay type thing. Um, but apart from that, that is literally the only thing, the only thing, that I had a problem with. And if that's the only thing that I had a problem with, good yeah. God, you lot are doing a fantastic job. Yeah, because right? let's, let's say that we've got lost go to more than a more than few of us over the years. <laughs> I've, I've, I've got that's lo- kind of par for the course, isn't it, though? Yeah. Yeah. You get lost on the way. I've yeah. got I've got lost going to the shops around the corner, for Christ's sakes. You know, it's... um, the When, when we arrived, yeah, the first thing that, 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 that hit us was the sheer fact that all of the camping arrangements had been sorted out into what almost looked like like pitches ready made. Hmm. Yeah, because everybody's tents were nicely in line. These are the outer carriage really? tents. Oh yeah, really were, yeah. Polite customers. That that's nothing to do yeah. with the staff. That's just oh. really really nice polite do, customers. It's really really polite sort of yeah. curious pastimes event go. Is he? Yeah. We saw we saw that the overflow car park for the cars yeah. and sort of the modern camping field. All the really nice. Rose, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know, Rob and I went, huh? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, wow. And then, of course, just a, a very short walk. Then we went to the the main um, uh, hut. Then the main office, uh, and talked to the gentleman inside, and just you know asked, you know, we're looking for Emmy Lou, yeah. and and fair play. I don't think we could have been greeted any nicer, happier, or jollier in in ever in our lives. Yeah. Uh, they are jolly, the event oh, team. Oh, no, no, yeah. the, 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 they are. They are excellent. This wasn't the event team. This is the guy <laughs> running the scout place. Oh, really? The scout guys. The scout <laughs> guys are also really nice. The scout guys were brilliant to us, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he, he literally, he literally nice. leapt out of his chair. He went, oh, right, okay, excellent, yes, no problem. <laughs> People, how we love, we love having you lot here. It's like it's, oh, it's like I was like okay. I okay. Know who it was? I helped them clear out a, a wasp's nest earlier on in that weekend. So hopefully it's those guys because yeah. we were like best of friends after that. I mean, it literally was. Ooh, I, I, I I was almost ready to get a shotgun out. Get back. Get back. You know. Um, <laughs> He was, he was just a, a little too, 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 too eager, which I think is fantastic because normally you go to some of these places you hire and, and they're like, well, you really try not to wreck the place or keep it tidy. <laughs> try not to drag any mud in anyway. In fact, take your boots off at the door every time. Um, and he's like, yeah, you've not met LARPers, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> um, destroyer of sinks. Yeah, and de- yeah, the, the destroyer of sinks. All LARPers are destroyer of sinks. <laughs> I, I don't mean broken sinks. I just mean you walk up to the event at the beginning, beautifully white sinks. By the end, billions of colours. Yeah. <laughs> Covered in I makeup. Clean, I cleaned all the stuff up. And, and, and oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. I feel for you. Yeah. You know, and then, then he kind of ushered us towards the, the actual uh, uh, um, event tent, you know, that the, the or rather the event hut then, the, the main yeah. hut, uh, where we were greeted very nicely. And then pointed in the general direction of where you were, um, oh. and off we went to meet you. And then the weekend began, uh, as it were. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody was was super friendly, super helpful. Uh, there didn't seem to be any barriers when we asked for things. It was yeah, okay, let's see if we can get that that sorted for you. You know, yeah. you even you even got us a table ready 
to put our stuff on. I know, on. I saw that. The the, uh, the event guys, the, um, the, the guy who sort of manages the event area during the during the events yeah. he'd set it up when i because i sleep in that hut that event yeah. hut yeah. and he'd set it up and he I was like what was that for and he said it was for you guys like, well, they're gonna be really impressed because <laughs> 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 he'd set one up for the slender pictures guys well. yeah exactly he just wanted to make sure everything was just so it was very nice yeah and 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 it was it, it was very appreciated just have to have somebody to, to put our stuff yeah. and you know and and then just a very simple thing we noticed that there, there wasn't any power sockets around right but we noticed there's one across the way uh, and fair play i can't remember the 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 lovely lady uh who was running all the electronics and what have you uh in the head what, what was her name that's Jackie, I think. Jackie, yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Jackie, oh, yeah. uh, Jackie uh, rushed out. She found us um, a, a, a quadruple socket thing. Uh, yeah. Helped us sort of tack it up over the door so nobody it wouldn't be in anybody's way. Uh, and what have you? you know, normally, if if we go to something, it's like it's like um, uh, you crack on, do what you need to do. Uh, and if we haven't, I mean, I always bring a quadruple extension Thank cord you. type thing. Uh, because there's never one available, but no, you, you, I think I think the one she found us could have could have actually run about four miles. Um, <laughs> it was it, it, it was huge, uh, you know. So th- I'm so th- really glad that you got on with that. They were so lovely to you, though. It's really like I say, I'm not surprised though. Yeah, they and and I think it's 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 almost genius the way you have separated out what you call event organizer. So that's uh, physical stuff that happens um i'm assuming uh player and everybody else's safety um yep. moving things around uh etc mm. the the electrics of the site that sort yeah. of thing then you've got um the refs then that are a separate entity unto themselves yeah um, and I think you had a, a, something else as well, didn't you? You had, you had like technical guys as well. And um, We've also got um, the games organization desk yeah. people. Yeah. And then we've got um, included in the event team, we've got the people who do the catering and stuff like that. Mm. And yeah, then yeah. also yeah. in each of the factions, we've got NPCs as well. So, yeah. and then also within the factions, we've got more players who take on referee roles. So yeah, mm. it's, it's everybody's kind of spread out all between everything else. Yeah, and, and and I guess that's fairly standard though in yeah. in most um, big, games. big games. Well, because... well, yeah. big games. Uh, how else could you do it? Yeah. You, you know, you have to have people responsible for all those different things. Yeah, yeah. It, I would be interested to see how how other big games do it. Uh, to yeah. be honest with you, now you know now seeing the way you've done it uh, and what have you, I would be interested to see how other larger games uh, run this. My guess would be it would be pretty much the same. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. We all eat together. That's yes. one of the things that I really, really I think I probably said that to you. It's like you one did. of my you made a series of, 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 of thing that we all, all the different staff teams eat together. It's like yeah. one of my new big theories of why we get on. But, yeah, um, and, and, and the sheer fact in the morning, as, as you did when the, the one morning we were there, uh, you've got everybody, a captive audience, because they're having breakfast. You can have a meeting. Yeah, that's true. You know, you can have a quick meeting. Any sort of information that needs to be passed across, etc., can be delivered there, all done, all were dusted. You, were you there on the Sunday morning or the Monday morning? That was Monday morning. Monday morning. Monday morning. Thank goodness for that, because Sunday morning I was literally incomprehensible. <laughs> I was so tired. I, I don't even. People just started looking at me, going, "What are you talking about?" Really so, <laughs> so, so there's this players everywhere. Um, <laughs> um uh, monster. So we, yeah, I'm I mean, a bit red now. It's really <laughs> so. So we we were just super impressed. We were just super impressed yes. by by everything that we saw. The battles, really the battles were amazing. I would have, I would have, I'd have loved yeah. to to get in there with a the GoPro and something yeah. and, and captured footage that way. Um, I think this Lender Pictures people have one of those. Um, mm. Well, I know they have. They have a three hundred and sixty degree camera, they did. They and did, I think yeah. they had. They were using that in in the battles. They because we constructed this special sort of stick device so that you could kind of prop it on your hip 
So it's got some stability. So yeah. I, I don't know quite what is going to come of that, what footage, but yeah, it's, it should be quite good. And yeah, I'll we're with all the 360 camera. Go, Ooh, that could be yeah. fun. Yeah, we're yeah. we're um, we're going to be linking up with Slender Pictures. Uh, we're going to be yeah, share, share, sharing the footage we got. They'll be sharing the footage they've got as well and things. So we'll be sharing Brilliant. back and back and forth because they are awesome guys um, they're amazing aren't they they yeah. made us a video um that I, I was working with the slender pictures guys for yeah. about a year i suppose um yeah. and on the, the monday night we have a staff party so okay. um, all the staff come and we just have a free bar and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all really okay. nice and they made a video especially for the staff party set to funny music and it's just it was epic absolutely yeah, yeah. epic so that was another thing it was really nice stuff so. yeah. yeah so um tom you've also been uh and understandably quiet because you, you didn't go along to this uh, particular one no. um have you got any questions for emmy lou uh at all yeah actually, actually <laughs> on the spot is, now the, yeah i know that really was um yeah He's good at that. So I not am. even any lead up or anything. Nope. It's like, come on, ask your questions now. No, no, it's just like, I am quite curious though, because um, I've never been to a large event myself. I've never been to one with hundreds upon hundreds of players before. Uh, I tend to go for the smaller ones. Uh, the reason yeah. for that is that I find the role playing the most appealing part of LARP and not the fighting. And I'm just wondering how difficult is it to get a story with so many people and so many factors how difficult is it to get a story and kind of like get those people involved within that story and make sure they don't go off in a direction where it's completely unknown that you had no idea what was going to happen and you know that just goes completely off the wall and decimates like a faction or something i mean I, I, um, you know well i mean one of the one of the things that we try and do is tie every single thing that we do into the narrative so all of the battles um are all part of the story and a part of what's going on yeah. um we have a reasonably complex but really quite straightforward system for plots so all mm. of the different factions all submit different plots and then a number of the sort of game team like people who are refs all the time also submit plots and we run those out through the whole weekend um so i think it, it, one of the thing that's things that i think i think works really well is that people kind of have, have ownership of their own things yeah. so that all the people who are running all the individual plots kind of keep updated on what they're doing and, and what's happening and what the npcs are doing and how things have been affected and we try really really hard well i mean we we don't we we try really really hard to set out like the world mm -hmm. rather than setting out what the story is going to be see, so yeah. we set a series of events that are going to happen and antagonists will have aims but those aims aren't set so the development of the story as it goes through even an event can change what's happening and sometimes we have to change things on the fly um but yeah we really we try really really hard to make sure that people have got ownership of their own of their own bit of what they're running and hopefully that kind of allows there to a be different kinds of flavors of plot and different kinds of ideas of what the plot's going to be but also means that there's a sort of continuity and the the plot owners can kind of get an idea as to whether a plot is being engaged with or not um so mm. i don't know if that hopefully answers your question yeah 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 definitely. Tangent, definitely but um i would definitely say that um plot is one of the really big kind of things mm. that we like to focus on so yeah um, but, but equally i can completely understand why you might prefer to go to smaller games i think it's a really different experience mm, yeah. going to a game with like we had sort of nearly 900 people there but and then going to a game with 50 people it, 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 there's absolutely no way it can't you know it, it can't be the same it's no. like <laughs> if i'm running a game for 50 people i can just about keep all of their stories in my head so if i've got 900 people no, then no, i can't keep all of those stories no, in my head no. so the rules have to be more clear cut and mm. they have to be yeah. more you have to have consistency because something mm. that happens on one side of the site has to happen the same for the yeah, person yeah, on the other yeah. side of the site because otherwise it's just it doesn't make any sense yeah so, yeah yeah, yeah I, I, know, but... <laughs> I mean the one thing the one thing i noticed that each each faction uh, and the faction camps then um all had their own plot as uh, as well and their own storylines yeah. going yeah. 
that yeah. that that was um that perhaps didn't seem like it was part of the overriding uh plot you know the the, the big story arc then yeah. um as it were but uh, of course as we discovered yeah yeah no it was part of the big story arc as well yeah yeah, yeah. there's a there's a number of plots that run simultaneously with each other so like, like i say there's 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 seven factions and then there's a mercenary group so that's eight sets of plots yeah. and then i think there's about 14 different world plots that run and some of those are simultaneous and some of them link together and some of them are completely separate just like the actual world you know mm-hmm. so it's it's a kind of like that's why i say it's quite complex but also quite straightforward because it's yeah. all owned by the individuals so. yeah makes no sense okay fair enough i i quite i quite like that very very well answered does, yeah. does, does... <laughs> Tom there seems happy. He's got a smile. Yeah, you know, yeah, definitely. <laughs> happy I he was pressed to ask questions. <laughs> hey, be impressed. I had to come up with that on the fly. Yes, <laughs> just... I'm very proud of you. <laughs> you know, I'd have, I'd have gone. No, nah, I've got nothing. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, if we just, um, is there, is, is there, is there anything, Rob, you, you want us to touch on, especially could, with curious? Yeah, partners? can we just touch on rules questions a second? Yeah. Hmm. Oh God! Uh, <laughs> name them. Go. Oh, no. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> no. I'll um, try. Uh, I'll try. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I, it's, it's just strikes me that you've got the you've got the main plots and the world plots, but there's also a lot of fluid. Dis- I've noticed you have a lot of fluid discussion with the players on how things can and can't work. I mean, for example, oh, I on the Facebook, Facebook group. Yeah. On the Facebook group, there was a, a big debate the day or so ago about using daggers and pole arms simultaneously. Yes, yeah, yeah. And I noticed you, the, the refs just had chimed in on that with, with, with the ruling. Does that happen yeah. fairly frequently in, in Curious Pastimes? Um, yeah, I would say so, yeah. Um, I mean, we've we've just redone the rules for 2016, so yeah. we've tried to tighten up a lot of things, hmm. but um, there's always little bits that we don't notice or yeah. little loopholes that we need to sort out or something like that. And if you look back through the rules, yeah. Facebook, there's loads and loads of queries, some mm. of which have gone onto my addendum list for the, you know, to go into the rules when I next do a next print run. So, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, it's, I, I think it's really good. Like it's really important to involve all the different stakeholders in, yeah. in the situation when you're developing something. I think it's important, but I noticed that really, it's really, it, 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 your discussion between it's not the world group imposing something, it's more yeah. the players. I want to try this, I'm trying this. Is this right? Does it make sense? Is it safe? And then finally, um, players, and then finally, a ruling comes back and makes that work, hopefully works. Yeah, on, on that particular one, we did have quite a big discussion on mm. the staff. We've got like, we've, we've got private staff groups and things like that as well. So yeah. when there's a rules question like that, I normally will take it to the staff group if it's something I can't answer immediately. It's not immediately obvious yeah. or, you know, needs opinions or whatever. Oh, then yeah. I'll take it to the staff group and we'll discuss it. And then there's loads of discussion, which is only a positive thing, I think. So has anybody actually tried to strap 10 daggers to a pole arm? <laughs> and and well, when no, they thrust, yet, that's, 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 that's 10, happens. you know, that, that, <laughs> that counts as 10 hits, you know, yeah. 10 hits, 10 hits, in one. you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll try that. Yeah. <laughs> Next monster. Yeah. Um, okay. Anything else, Rob? Anything else, Tom? I think I'm good for the moment. I mean, I think we've yeah. chatted a lot about how it's organised and how it runs, which is good because we all we've all got a stronger background in club level games than than, than big yeah. fest. We kind of dropped out of fest a while back, mm. and I'm kind of thankful to get back to them now, so especially after this weekend. It's like I'm going. I want to go back next August. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's. Um, I think it's really cool that there's so many different types of games that you can go oh, to, yeah. mm-hmm. and the fact that there are lots of little games. I mean, I went to. I'm really like I said. I'm on a real come down. Like last weekend, I went to a lava event, and then ne- it's ne- next weekend coming. I'm also going to. A event. <laughs> I, can't, I can't sort of get out of the headspace of it. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you just need your next fix. Yeah. I just... know, I know. Yes. I just, I felt kind of, I left sight and I was like, oh God, I'm not ready for it to be finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's is, silly, but... Is there, is, is there anything you want to ask us, Emmy Lou, about the weekend? Mm. Anything you can think of? Um, I don't know. I think you've kind of answered quite a lot of the things I would ask in what by what you've asked, really. I'm really glad that you had a good time. 
Oh um, yeah, yeah. It, we, we, it, it we, was we, really we, nice, and it was really nice how to see how you know you were so respectful to the staff and the staff were so respectful to you and it was just really lovely it's just i kind of really like all these kind of disparate elements of different things joining together it's just it's Mm. really excellent so like the more we can all communicate with each other the kind of better the entire community gets i think yeah well absolutely yeah that's one of our big goals is to to do that you know, well, with like, the, I'm with going us. to Empire this weekend, which I'm really excited about. Uh, are you? Uh, right. <laughs> I know this is my costume here that you can see. Uh-huh. I'm uh-huh. making it today. So, yeah, <laughs> nice. I'm, I'm going to Empire this weekend because um, yeah. I'm very excited about the kind of spectacle of the the city, which there's, it's called Amber, I think, the town. So mm. I'm really excited about going to play another game. So, I yeah, no, no, it's as good as the other. It's going to look special, I think. I yeah, have I'm really excited. I, I have a sneaky feeling that's actually the one that my daughter goes to, Empire. I think you said that last time. Hmm. Yeah. So l- uh, look out for her. She has the exact same hair as you got. Okay. <laughs> I'll check her out. Well, I'll come and tell you what it's like, if you like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. We'd love yeah. that. Yeah, ab- yeah. Ab- absolutely. So it's quite, it's quite ex- I'm quite excited. Like I said, I haven't actually played in a game for quite a long time. Mm. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when, yeah, when you organise games a lot, you tend to drop out of playing. Yeah. I did a fair amount of crewing of different systems. Like a lot of people who run smaller systems, I go and do quite a bit of crewing. Yeah. But yeah, actually playing is uh, going to be a rare treat. Yeah, I'd say. Fantastic. Okay, okay then. Um, shall we move on to uh, the the next topic? Go on. Okay. Now it's it it, it is something that's that's going to fall into your your wheelhouse, Emily uh, in the okay. sheer fact of um, self care in LARPs, right? Um, this is about people hurt in their feet and then not being able to come and play at Kira's pastimes. <laughs> <laughs> he, he might, he might, yeah. ha, he might have blue eyes um, and long yeah. hair and no beard um, and what have you, but they're, they're... <laughs> he's got a Cthulhu beard. Yeah, That's Cthulhu. Okay. Um, we did actually find, or it was sent to us um, something up on the 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 Nordic LARP. Uh, website nordiclarp.org uh, which is actually an excellent excellent website for lots of different things yeah, uh, the majority of them are actually in English as well which is useful for us um, <laughs> and they basically go in, into this whole thing about um, you know why why self care is important and yeah. about om- almost getting the players to uh, adopt a policy then when they sign up to a game that basically states some common sense stuff, as in bloody look after yourselves, otherwise we've got to, uh, you know, on, on that sort of uh, side of things. Now, as you know, um, and Rob doesn't mind me talking about this, because I've already checked with him, Rob had a little bit of problem uh, before he actually came away uh, on the weekend uh, with you, uh, because he went away on another weekend and pushed himself uh, royally. Um, and damaged himself. <laughs> Fair bit, still, still hurting. <laughs> yeah, which, which oh. meant, yeah, which, which meant, of course, he he couldn't sort of uh, partake. Yeah. Um, and I've been, I I've done it in the past, although I'm a lot better than I ever used to be uh, at, at recognizing the signs. Yeah, maybe you should just go and have a sleep. Uh, bow out, you know, for, a, for for four or five hours. Uh, tell the refs you're off doing some spiritual thing, so it's in character or what have yeah. you. But but basically, go and go and take care of yourself uh, for a, for a few hours and and just chillax. Um, Tom, have you ever have you ever done this? Ever pushed yourself too far in a LARP? Um, being the young virile young man that you are. I wouldn't. I mean, uh, not really. Not f- like that. I mean, there's, if if I reach a point where I've been hurt or something, I'll stop. Mm. I haven't really been hurt at a lab yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. So, no, not not. I haven't really done that. I mean, I suppose the closest you could come was when I was wearing heavy chain mail, and you're just so knackered. You just want. I just want this off. I just want this off. <laughs> yeah. But you yeah. keep pushing yourself. Yeah, it, to the point where your blows are just like, eh. <laughs> like that, but nonstop. Uh, but but no, not really. I I haven't done that yet. No, 
no, I haven't uh, done that yet, but I'm sure eventually yeah. I'm going to get an injury, something like that. Uh, um, yeah, more, the only, more than The only me. thing I would say was um, was when I came home from the lap, I was I was ill. I was, and I'm pretty sure the reason for that was because uh, it, it was absolutely soaking the, week, the weekend. It didn't rain, but yeah. the, the, war, the the ground was just so wet and so thick. And and just like an idiot, I didn't bring enough changes of socks or anything like that. Mm. So I think at the end of the day, so so apart, yeah. from, but that's not really pushing yourself too much. That's more me being stupid and not bringing enough yeah. socks. Yeah, well, which yeah. is in lap one hundred and one. Yeah, bring 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 lots. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I, I have to say that that's that something I always pack too many of. But yeah. always grateful for is that I never run out of socks. Yeah, but I mean, I mean that that is actually what. What's yeah. kind of covered covered in, in in this in this convention policy is a sheer fact of, you know, look after yourself, self care. You know, be mm. sensible. Bring lots of socks. If you do, if you're not doing lots of socks, buy waterproof socks. You know, things like that mm. to keep your feet dry. Uh, so even if your boots get trash, doesn't matter. Waterproof socks, um, and and things like that. You know, uh, how many times uh, this is this is the one thing I'm I'm the worst for. I don't drink enough when it's hot mm. i'm yeah, i don't drink enough water one. right I, i'm awful so i get dehydrated like that you know mm. i've always got packs of those rehydration sachets mm. i've always got boxes of the damn thing there in fact there's two sitting behind me right now right because i'm the world's worst of going oh yeah maybe i should drink water yeah. uh <laughs> <laughs> you know maybe i should drink water Orc, <laughs> you know. So yeah, yeah. I um I, I am I am I am one of the world's worst in that, and that of course dehydration that that that, that kills me off. As simple as that. I've just got to get okay, lots yeah. of fluids in me and sleep, um, etc. But I mean I mean, Robs are a bit more um a bit more okay, nastier yeah. than than mine. You know, is a. His or his it could potentially be life threatening if he doesn't yeah, okay. if he doesn't take care. Okay, of it. I'll, I'll come clean. We 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 brought this up because I, I saw that article. Uh, it got pushed across to me by somebody or other. I think it was from Google Plus actually originally, but anyway. Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, I thought that was yeah. I think have people talking about because this happens to me all, all the time. Uh, when I'm, I'll be playing a lap and I'll have a minor injury, a major injury. Uh, I will end up not being able to walk. It, you're guaranteed to have some sort of injury. Well, just <laughs> well, okay, okay. Sh- 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 shall I shall I come clean on air and explain to people why I'm, this is a big topic for me? If you like, Rob, just to say oh. that I'm usually his carer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. What I going to mention? Look at me, loads and loads and loads, <laughs> and it even pulled sort of caring, but informed first aiders off me on more than one occasion before they kill him. Okay, so the reason that to the, I, I think this is a great topic and I would like to see more people talking about it is that like, I've got a fairly major health problem. Uh, most people don't notice it, thank God, but I, I've actually got a very rare form of spina bifida. Oh, yeah. And, it's, and I don't feel pain correctly. <laughs> so I can really easily push myself to the point of, how can I put this? I've sort of gone, it feels damp. It's not been raining. I'll just look under my sock. Oh, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> Half your foot. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, I mean, much to my hilarity, because I can punch him in the leg. He doesn't feel it. It's great. <laughs> wow, what a good friend. Yeah, punch him in the leg all the time. It's great. Yeah. I've, I've, yeah. I've stopped short of throwing darts into. In, I was going to say, did you get <laughs> oh, start drawing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, so getting, is that, getting yeah, a because I injure so easily. <laughs> getting a blowpipe, you know, getting a blowpipe with a dart in it. Still there, still there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, Seeing how many I can get in, for he goes, Stew! <laughs> <laughs> you can tell Stew's been thinking of all these ideas, can't yeah. you? He's sitting there straight off. What? Yeah. As if I would. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, Rob, you need someone to actually go. Rob, your 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 leg is kind of. Well, no, I, I think <laughs> I, play, I, play, I play with most regularly. All know about this. Yeah. I, I'm very open to them about it. It's um, 
I found it that's much more reasonable. Because there has been a few games where I've got to go, yeah, I did a great day, but I've now got to back out for the next mm. well, next the event, or I've now got to yeah. take, take a few hours off. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. Or, excuse me, I'll just run, run away and change my dressings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, Rob, Rob is the world's worst. Before he, actually, before he actually, we actually came to the game, Emmy Lou, right? He called me up. He said, "Stu, I want a bit of advice, right? Yeah. I, you know, really hurt enough after the last thing, whatever. Blah blah blah. Yada yada yada. Should I play?" I said, "No, <laughs> no. <laughs> which which part of no do you not understand?" Good enough. I, I am the world's worst optimist. And going, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. Okay. In close good. now. Uh oh, I'm going. Uh, uh, Emmy Lou, I don't think I'm playing this, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> I said, just come up with me. I said, I'll do all the yeah. driving, not a problem. Come up with me. You can just literally lay back and snooze, which he did <laughs> on the way back, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Don't, don't worry. Yeah. I'll I'll stay awake and yeah. keep you company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind though. Um, you know, and and just come up with me, do the lap bucky thing, and what have you. And then you know, if you yeah. need to take a break, you can. You just it's it's not an issue, you know. Yeah. So that's yeah. what what we did. But but Rob is absolutely the world's worst, the biggest optimist um, on the planet <laughs> on the planet. Because <laughs> like, yes, uh, I can do this. I can well, run around okay. the field. You just yeah. need to come another time and play another time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Exactly. I just I just imagine Rob going stew. Gunshot wound. That's a play, right? Am I? Is yeah. it? Am I? You know, it's there is some blood, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure the bullet went through, through. so we don't have to worry about that. About that. Um, don't have to dig I, it out of my I leg. Think, I think at the worst, I was at the gathering. I, this is about 15 years ago, and I had a, I started having an infection. Before I went, I took a load of med- meds with me. Um, a, a dear friend at the time was a, was a nurse and said, "Yeah, yeah, you're fine to drink on that." Oh, yeah, it got me really drunk. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because because when when he gets an, a, a, an infection, that can easily lead into blood poisoning. With yeah, Rob. of course. You know, yeah. very very easily, uh, and that's yeah. normally where I've got to uh, drag away the first aider who's decided to uh, raise his legs to let the poison get you around even quicker. <laughs> Yeah. No, right, strap that off. Straight to the heart. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, strap okay. that off. Get him to hospital. Uh, <laughs> you know. So, so yeah. I, I, you know, I think that that this this particular article that we are talking about, even though we went tangentially off, um, is actually a very good idea for anybody that is is organising running a LARP, uh, mm-hmm. because it does put a you know it, it, it at the very minimum. It makes the player think, yeah, yeah, maybe I should look after myself a bit better yeah. and, and recognize signs and take myself out, even though I might really want to do that cool thing, take myself out um, to heal up, to rest, to go and get that four gallons of water down you, whatever it is. Yeah. It yeah. is difficult though, isn't it? Because you don't oh, want to yeah. miss anything. That's, well, that's the problem. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. You don't want to miss anything, so you stay longer. Sorry about that. That's someone driving <laughs> towards my house. <laughs> Rawson. Awesome. You didn't want to miss anything. Did you? you didn't um, want to miss a thing. So, yeah, you don't want to miss anything, but by pushing yourself, you're leaving yourself at risk to miss the entire weekend. Oh, no, of course. Yeah. You're yeah. quite right. Yeah. But just take I that. understand and sympathise mm. with yeah. Oh yeah! Mm. Uh, now hindsight, oh yeah, totally good. Yeah. But at the time, you're like, no, oh, come on, we got to keep going. Yeah, well, well, like I mean, I mean, um, both of us, my my feet were, were were really killing me. I I got a few joint problems at the moment. That's just an age thing, right? Um, and we missed the uh, the big battle with lots and lots of minion demon things coming out of the portal because we were both oh, did you? we oh, we, we were both in the room. I was. Rob was <laughs> so <laughs> earlier on I've been I've been to that ritual circle my photograph and portal I'm going hang on Stuart they've painted that portal so it looks different and and uh, under different lighting somebody's been clever <laughs> yeah well, the, I think the slender guy's got some got some footage of the big, yeah um, they did yeah so, yeah so so we'll, we'll, we shall be tapping them up for that definitely yeah. uh, etc um. Yeah. So so yeah, uh, any any thoughts on what what we discussed so far about the uh, 
the just look after your bloody self um, topic. Just essentially well, look after your bloody self. I yeah, I mean, <laughs> I had to be reminded to eat quite a lot over the weekend. Mm-hmm. That's easily missed, actually. Yeah, yeah. No, no, normally I'm amazing at eating. I love it. <laughs> but it just, I think it was because it was so hot. And at mm-hmm. one point, I was just—I was in such a mood. <laughs> one of the one of my one of the refs was like, "Emily, what are you doing?" <laughs> it's like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, I was really ashamed of myself actually because I'm normally really good at that, and normally I'm the one to remind people. But yeah. I think it's just—it's—it's it's good to bring awareness to people that they do need to take. Care did of uh, did somebody produce a Snickers for you? <laughs> No, no, I just went and got my dinner. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, Amy Lou, I have a Snickers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What have you? Cool, excellent. Then that's uh, that's fine. So Tom, you Mm. went you went to the Balrog event. So we 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 feud we feud about an event of like almost nine hundred people. Um, the Balrog event is about fifty people. Yeah. No, it's about thirty. It's about thirty. Okay, thirty people. Oh, yeah. um, so, how how was the Balrog event? Um, mm-hmm. Experiences, etc. Go. Uh, it was really good, actually. Um, mm-hmm. As always, I mean, Balrog's always a good thing. It's a nice, it's a smaller, more personal kind of like LARP where yeah. uh, they try and involve as many people as they can in the plot, to uh, so that you feel that you you're contributing to it. Um, yeah. And because it's so small, the refs can actually. You know, put plot in that's catered to each person. Yeah. You know, and they can do little uh, like um, encounters that are more puzzles than just fighting. Yeah. Uh, that's very popular. With Rog. They they tend to do that rather than just playing out fighting. Which one puzzle was Luke dressed as an ogre who wanted to find romance, oh, and yeah. he was quoting Rocky Horror, um, and uh, <laughs> he wasn't interested in women. He was only interested in men naturally naturally um and he wanted to be wooed so he had to get a guitar and woo him and stuff like that well i didn't but uh, a dwarf in grob did okay um so uh yeah that was so it basically was really good all the uh all the uh different encounters slash puzzles yeah. uh were quite different from one another um, they do integrate those puzzles into uh, the characters and what type of elements you have, because every character has an element okay. or a god and stuff, and they kind of intertwine that to make sure it works. And it does require a lot of thinking. And uh, it was good. It was it was really good. Um, there were a few uh, little things that uh, weren't that they they could have improved on. Um, all the walkie talkies kind of decided to break, mm. so communication was very difficult. Uh, so uh, there were times where we were just sitting around and and refs have already gone to one area waiting for us, thinking that someone told us, but yeah. no one had told us. So that there was there were little bits like that where there was it, it was a bit slow. Uh, but apart from that, it was really good fun. We had uh, quite a lot of new people there, first timers as well, who uh, uh, were very welcomed. They just jumped straight in, you know, no messing about. Superb. You know, jumped straight into the role playing, into yeah. the into the fight, into their character. It was fantastic. Um, and yeah, it was a really good weekend. Um, and it, it the, was a, it was an anniversary uh, one as well, wasn't was. it? Yeah, yeah, it was. I um. We got these little things right here. Anniversary. Ooh. It's just like a little bookmark thing, uh, which was very nice. It was very nice. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it was anniversary. There were a few magic items to be got. Manny, I think, got the ultimate one. Which um, was? Who, uh, the gauntlet that Meloc uses. So now he's literally the Lich King. Ah. So, uh, yeah, we got a kind Play of... Play Lich King. Okay. Cool. Shame, I... really, because my character likes Manny. <laughs> uh, so uh so yeah it was it was a good event it was a good event the players actually didn't really win as well actually they kind of lost Ooh. um so yeah it, it kind of ended with us getting our asses royally thumped um by a load of monsters and uh yeah okay. it, we're, at the, we're at the end we're most of the party just went let's get off this friggin island <laughs> <laughs> i think we just buggered off <laughs> get off it. That's reason, but I mean, yeah. let's not it let. Always, yeah. It couldn't always be a player win. Sometimes, oh yeah, and you guys. Hard know. ending is, is better. Let's you guys let's not go know. there. Tis a silly place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. And you guys know Kez and Lee and all, and yeah, they have yeah. no. He- they won't have any hesitation to screwing you over. Oh yeah, you know they won't do it purpose. Well, 
<laughs> but you know um no they're doing it, character know, it won't do it, it, yeah it'd be in character it would never be out of character or anything like that and uh but yeah it was a good fun it was a lot of good fun i'm looking forward to uh next year cool yeah. right i've i've got a quick question for everybody here we'll go in turn i'll start best magical item that you ever got in a larp mine is a sword that had literally no effect and the lammy said that <laughs> So I could hit people and go, no effect, no effect. That was honestly the most genius one that I've ever gotten. Uh, Tom? I have never gotten a magical item in a lap. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. However, the, the one that um, I find favourite is the uh, sexuality, your uh, gender changing sword that uh, Ivali has. You hit someone with the sword and it changes your gender. I uh, I find that's uh, pretty good. It's pretty good. It's good fun. But no, I've I've never ever had a magical item. No. Right, Emmy Lou. Um, not one that I have had, but the best one that I have ever experienced being written um, was a a ring of wishes where what actually happened was a demon appeared and then tried its very best to do what you wanted it for it to do. <laughs> so, like, so it, for example, if you wished for lots of gold, it would go and rob someone else. <laughs> and if you wished to be the king, it would go and, you know, try and manoeuvre getting you to be the king or whatever. That, that's kind of like one of the most fun. What happens if you said... Obviously... Go on, sorry. What happens if you said, I want to be irresistible to women? Or men. Then it would it would start to work towards how to do it. <laughs> obviously the, the, it's like a little tiny, quite rubbish demon in this thing who would try its hardest, but oh. or, or probably be a bit rubbish and get you in loads of trouble along the way. Oh, I would never give up that ring. No, no, no. no. I, I think it got quite annoying for the person <laughs> doing it. Was to be honest. They just got in loads of trouble because this demon was just doing what they wanted. <laughs> that was brilliant. Rob? Okay, I think I think my favourite one was the sword that contained the soul of a dragon that just wanted to encourage people to play fetch. <laughs> <laughs> a very playful dragon. Yeah. <laughs> fetch! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's brilliant. Yeah. That's superb. Cool. Um, da, 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 right, let's have a look. Look at the show notes. Is is that everything, Robert? I think you might just go the whole show notes this week because we just had a well, conversation. This, this, yeah, this yeah, one, yeah. yeah. Fine. Ab, 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 absolutely. Uh, is, is there anything you want to say, um, Emily, to uh, anybody and everything now that, you know, so we can broadcast that to the world? I would like to say thank you to everybody again. I think they're probably fed up of hearing it from me, to be honest. I, Like I say, we made this video to say thank you. We made several gushy speeches to say thank you. And I'm just going to say it again. The, the events would be terrible without the amazing staff and the amazing customers. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah mm. ab absolutely. <laughs> I... I, I second I, I do second yeah, that motion um, a, a, a yeah. big a big thank you from us as well yeah. uh, let's say everybody was just so nice to us yeah. uh, and what have you um, so yeah fantastic so uh, I think I think that, that, pro that probably is a show what do you think folks yeah sounds like a show yeah, yeah. sounds hey. sounds like a show to me okay then let's uh, Let's do this then. Okay, so um, a big, 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 big thank you, obviously, to Emmy Lou for coming on the show tonight. Uh, I think it's. I think we'll have to make this a regular thing. Yeah. What do you What yeah. do you reckon? Either. Yeah. 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 Please. Ab please. Absolutely. Please. Okay. Uh, big thank you to our lovely patrons who make this a little bit easier to keep this show going. Um, in fact, we should be buying some more kit with uh, some of the money that you've um, uh, very kindly donated over the past. Uh, if you would like to get in, in contact with the show, talk about anything, any anything you wanted us to talk about, then uh, larpbookshow at gmail.com. That is larpbookshow at gmail.com. Just let us know and, and we'll discuss things. Uh, or of course, if you've seen anything cool, like the guy from the Nordic LARP and, and what have you that, that sent it across, um, he did that on Google+, Plus, etc. Let us know and we'll, we'll feature it. Uh, music was provided by Ben Sound at bensound.com. Uh, we do have a shop over on Redbubble, but keep tuned. We may have a new shop coming soon with lots more cool stuff in it. <laughs> 
uh, when I get round to actually getting all the designs up there. Uh, you can listen to the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Twitch, Podbean. Just search for LARPbook and you will find us there. Uh, the website is LARPbook.com. Lots of great reviews, news and everything else over there. Uh, you can follow us Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Just search for LARPbook. You'll find us. Uh, and don't forget to give us a five-star review. That's if you want to give us a five-star review on on iTunes or whatever you use to listen to the show with. Uh, that's been it. I'm Stuart Edwards. That's Rob Davis. Uh, that is Thomas Busby, and that's Emmy Lou. Have a great, <laughs> great night, everybody, and speak to you all soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>